I, be, I just recently beat that new Smash Brothers. Well, it's not new anymore, but yeah. oh my God, that game was like 30 hours long campaign. Yeah, I started to do the campaign too, and I, I had, no. I was like, no, 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 I'm not having fun. First of all. It took so long. I thought, and then at one point I thought I'd You don't need to play the characters you want. You can. No, you can. You have to unlock them, You though. have to unlock them, yes. And so, but. and if you choose the wrong direction at the beginning, and you're stuck with characters who you don't like controlling, it doesn't make the challenges better for you. It makes it more difficult and frustrating. Yeah. Like... I didn't care for it. But yeah, Kirby has been my go-to, like, favorite character to play, and I'm, like, nasty as hell with him. Yeah. I don't know, who would you, if you had to, like, go against me right now in Smash, wh who would you pick? From, oh. like, from like Ultimate. Oh, without and a, anybody. With, without a doubt, it's Ganondorf. Ganondorf, huh? Yeah, I am, modestly speaking, disgustingly good with him. Do you, are you good with Captain Falco, too? Captain Falcon is fine. He's, he's faster, he's slower. I mean, he's faster, he's a little weaker. Uh, I prefer... Ganon's the ability to like absorb damage and then just like backhand people oh. and send them flying. So I don't mind trading hits with Ganon, but I have like the timing done for his like his bicycle flip kick, and I just got really good at yeah, that using him in the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, and you know when I get the capture card and set it up, we we could probably get a couple people to do a, like a tournament, and I, I we can film it all and get yeah. people in the gaming hot seat. I can set up a TV over there. And I have three working Switch controllers, and that's an eight-player game. If we did eight, we would I mean, be able to get on eight this players. Screen, yeah, on the yeah, on that we could definitely. I guess yeah, the trick would be getting eight people. You can't, can't <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Do you? You don't happen to have like? Well, let's see. There's two of us. You don't happen to know six other people, do you, Lance? <laughs> you know, I think there's a good way to dovetail into fighting games. Um, fighting games, okay, love them. My, me too. Hate hate anything that was old because you play it now. It was impossible. I don't know how we beat Mortal Kombat one or two. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, even on easy mode, I don't even know how we beat it. It was impossible still. Yeah, no, it's it's so frustrating. Even knowing the character move sets like I do yep. now, I'm like, no, stop. Like I tried to play the old Killer Instinct. Oh, Killer Instinct was what even is worse. That? What is that? How did clunky, I even play that game? Clunky controls. Like yeah, like it feels like the. Oh man, it's like. Is something wrong with my brain? I know I hit the buttons, and it's like, no, it's just no. not moving at the speed I remember it. And it was like so frustrating because the computer will be flawless in its execution, and you're dealing with like delays. And it's just, it was just so. How did I play that? Yeah, I know. I agree because I I was playing playing those games too. In my quest to do 300 now and then, I would try to beat an old school fighting game, and I'm like, Man, stuff. I'm like, I'm putting way too much time into this. I should have beaten this by now. Like, I'm getting frustrated. <laughs> yeah. And, 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 this guy's and, impossible to kill. I'm on easy. Like, we, <laughs> we played a couple of those games, like, in the Super Nintendo era. But it really, it wasn't until the Sega Dreamcast when Soul Calibur came out on the home Power console. Power Stone. Yo. Power you say Stone. Dreamcast. Yeah. It's Power, Power Stone. Stone it, why is that not still a franchise? If anyone can find Capcom and yell at them and tell them to make Power Stone come back, much appreciated. Uh, yeah, it would be, That was a blast. I could see it looking really sweet. And like, they just do the same kind of over the top, kind of at an angle setup. Yeah, you know, the, like, the isometric view. Um, even if like, now, I, you know what? Like hand-drawn animation for that would be really neat oh, it too. Almost so like a, long. Almost long. like a Guilty Gear look though, but like for oh, Power Stone, wouldn't that be cool? Did you like the new Guilty Gear? I heard it's excellent. It looks sweet. Like I, it looks I've heard so only good cool. things, but I don't have, I haven't bought a next generation console yet. I'm kind of hoping the PlayStation 5 gets redesigned into something that'll fit on a table because they're huge. They are pretty big. They're big, he's got one. Um, I, I, Xbox Series Xs are like in stock and I skipped the last Xbox. So yeah, but this, they want a bundle pack for it. Do they? Eight fifty. No, right. and guess what you get? Oh no, and it's cool. You get three months of Xbox Live. You get, I already have. You get an extra controller, and you get three games that you might not even want. I already have Game Pass on the PC. It works just fine. I mean, I don't get access to all the things, but like I've used it to play a few games. It doesn't even add up. Still, it should be five hundred bucks for the console. Yeah, it's three I, games at not. sixty dollar value. Okay, one eighty. So you know, we're almost at seven hundred. Yeah. Extra controllers, fifty, sixty. Where is this extra hundred and thirty dollars on top of? And this is GameStop selling it. No way. This is not like a private seller. This is an actual establishment that should retail value the system only at five hundred bucks. But they that won't sell it to you unless you buy the bundle. That's ridiculous. I know. I told them it was the biggest ripoff ever. That's dumb. and they're giving out games that are, are already thirty bucks, like Far Cry Six. You can probably buy it for twenty bucks right now. The Call of Duty Vanguard, thirty bucks. Ah, 
that's that's disappointing to hear. Honestly, um, I know we're a little off topic on this one, but it's fine because you know I can don't always, buy a bundle. You could still never buy bundles. just wait. And you, it should only be worth what it's supposed to be worth. Though when I first got the PS4, I got the Destiny bundle, um, but that was the same cost as like the console. And like, you got probably Destiny. Also. I got Destiny with it. I got the limited edition white console. Exactly. And it, I think it was I think it was like ten dollars cheaper than if I bought the two separately. Well, not to mention too, uh, when you have an an exclusive console like that, they actually retain decent value. Like your Destiny console is worth more than someone's normal PS4 console. Well, then I got the just Pro. because Man. it's no, but just yeah. because it's an exclusive. Andy has my my PS4 right now. I don't know if he's using. it. I should probably get that back. It has PT on it, so I can't get rid of it. This is a game still I, you've mentioned more you've than I it? still have never played it. No. Oh my goodness! We'll definitely have to do that at some time. I'm getting a lot of good ideas on this. Uh, so that's our quick rant on that. Back to fighting games, though. Uh, Yes, Power Stone would be fantastic to come back. I would, I would absolutely love it. Power Stone Two, I thought was okay. It was trying too hard to be Smash Brothers. It was still fun though. It was fun. I would say keep it one on one though. Uh, having four players, it either needs four players or it needs more than four. And they don't. Not every level, because in the second one, all the levels were like were transition levels. There were like multiple like transition points in them. I don't need all that. You know, one or two levels that transition are fine, but just give me an arena. Just let's go at it. Like the bar fights, like a bar fight is a great place for that. Or, you know, just creative level design. I don't I don't need everything changing every five minutes we're fighting. Like it's too much. But it was Soul Calibur on the Dreamcast that got me huge into fighting games. A, a buddy of mine in high school, he also had a he also had a Dreamcast. And we played, I'm not even kidding. We I think we played just under 400 rounds of Soul Calibur yeah. that sleepover. It separated itself from the the normal. I mean, there was a lot of different fighting games, but for the most part, if you bought a fighting game then or you knew about them, you were either Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter. Kind of, yeah. And so, um, what, not Primal Rage. Well, I'm, that's what I'm saying. There's there's <laughs> definitely fighters that were that were different, but, no, but none of them were like amazing they weren't mortal kombat or street fighter which were the like ones. the two yeah. the biggest ones what soul caliber did well, PlayStation was it Tekken. actually made a good game but it was with weapons yeah very unique crazy medieval yeah. characters that were well designed and then not only that but the the characters were so different uh that it, it, it was um Everyone could find a play style that yeah, they liked. It's true. Well, they did a great job because it had been Soul Edge, I believe, in the arcades. And then when they came to the home console, it was Soul Calibur. And I've played every Soul Calibur that they've put out, and I like them all. I really do. My favorite, yeah, I love playing as Astaroth. Again, kind of a bigger, slower character who can take a little bit of damage, but he can deal it out too. And uh, that's fun. It's just my brother got real good at um, Valdo, though, so that became very frustrating for me. Because Valdo could like spring across faster than I could get within the guard, and I'm like, oh no, I'm getting hit. <laughs> Did you ever have uh, one of any of the Soul Calibers when that when that one year they had for Soul Calibur two? I think it was. Yep. And you it got had Spawn Xbox. on Xbox. You got Link on GameCube, and you got Te uh, uh, Hitachi. Hitachi from uh, Tekken. Tekken. I've never been good at Tekken, so I've stopped playing them. You could spam Law or Eddie, Eddie Gordo, and and you could win, beat the game. Yeah. Just spam. I kind of felt the same way with. Um, with Virtual Fighter, I would just pick like Jude and then just like keep kicking. And that was yeah, that was like their Lee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just keep kicking. But yeah, no, I had the uh, the GameCube one with Link. I I had that one. And too. And then I had the Xbox one with. I Spawn. also yeah. I mean like I who buys two of the same game for a freaking like they they made it. I did. I did too. Yeah. Because it was like shit. Yeah, it was that was. I think I first got the Spawn one. I, I got the Xbox first, and then uh, they're like. I'm like, you know what? I really want to play Link. And so I, I went out and got the GameCube I, version too. It's the same game. It's the same it's game. Just one character different. Uh, well, you know, Link had a bunch of those like chain grapples though. So Link that, was awesome. That was very frustrating. Just throw bombs and stuff. Yeah, getting getting tossed around by Link Grapple the whole time. Grapple shot, like, for yeah. hook shot. Like, it, yeah. No, Spawn I, was badass too. And yeah. then it was like, eh, hell yeah, Spawn had like Spawn had like almost no moves though. I, as I recall, his move set was pretty limited. Like, but he just looked really cool. He did cool with his axe. Yeah, it was, yeah, like, it was awesome. Yeah, so for fighting games, that's pretty much, I would say like Smash Brothers, I play a lot of Smash Brothers. I still try and play the Street Fighters, 
Mortal Kombat, when they started getting really good, like, story-driven content, I really enjoyed that. Mortal Kombat has been knocking it out of the park since yeah. 9. Like, just they're, they're fun. consecutive well, years like, of Mortal Kombat. It just keeps getting... I don't. I, I keep, like the PlayStation ones, too. I liked, uh, or the, um, like, Deadly Alliance, or what was the other one? Annihilation? Was, no, that's the movie. No, oh, um, yeah. Um, it doesn't matter. I'll put a graphic of it up. But the one with the Dragon King, where you, that, that story was pretty fun, too. It's just... I enjoyed them, and then what was it? Nine was the one that where they like it, it ties all the games together. Is that the one where you, you like you kind of go back and you play them in order, trying to like reset the timeline? Maybe whichever one that one was was fantastic. I honestly don't remember too much of the stories. I beat them, but oh no, it was good. It, it was like it tied. I think it was the stories of the first three. It could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I probably am. It was a long time ago, but I think you went Raiden like affected some kind of like temporal shift and then you ended up having to like play the events in order but like to keep the timeline together i want to say i'd have to look it up but that one was really neat and that one had that had some pretty cool backgrounds in that one too because it was like you know like a bunch of like demons laying siege to the city and whatnot oh then have you played 11 i have not every year when they keep coming out with it i'm like this is like the best moral combat ever i can't see this getting better and then like 11 came i'm like this is better like, huh. how did they do this? Like, they made... The, the, I didn't play 10 either. Oh, my God. 10 was even... And 10 I, had my, two of my favorite characters, <laughs> Alien <it>? and Predator. <laughs> like, I mean... Oh, my God. Yeah, Jason, Leatherface. I just... Um, like, fighting games for me are, are kind of... this kind of They fall into the same category I kind of think of, like, with shooting games. I, if I find one that's really good, I really like it. But then when they keep coming out with iterations, or much like sports games too, like whenever like they just keep coming out with them, I find I am not as interested in continuing on, um, just because, uh, like, especially when it comes to like sports games. One year everything would be really good. They make one small change and the whole thing falls apart. So I feel that way with fighting games. Like if it's really good and I really like it, if they change something for the next year, what if I don't like it as much? Mm. You know. So I, I don't know. It's just a. Uh, Kind of a frustrating thing, uh, fighting games hit and miss for me. Um, but I, Soul Calibur, I think, has done a pretty consistently good job. I, I probably will play the Mortal Kombat. I think they're all on sale now, so there's really no reason for me not to. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, 10 is like, you probably 10 for five bucks. Uh, I oh, no, it's on, actually 10 is part of the uh, Game Pass, I think. Oh, is it? I'll have to look. No, on, uh, while on PlayStation, uh, the subscription. Oh, that was a while back, right? No. Oh, never mind. It's on PS5 only. The PS5 yeah, yeah. people get like a game selection of it's stuff. You elitist pricks. Uh, I, all right. It's all old games. Anyway. <laughs> it, doesn't matter. <laughs> it don't matter. But yeah, when, I, when it comes to shooting games, like the things I like for um, graphics, are, you know, you kind of want a, a fluid looking fighter with good animations. And obviously, you want the controls to be good. And I don't want to be able to just like spam cheese the whole time. I, I hate yeah, that. I um, hate that. Well, I mean, low kick, see, low kick, low yeah, kick. It, it low can kick. be like that, and like especially, I feel Street Fighter is like the one of the worst ones, or you just keep doing a Hadouken. Yeah. Like, well, that's why I liked. Uh, did you ever play? Um, was it Dead or Alive? Oh yeah. Where you could do like the counters. So yeah. if somebody's spamming the low kicks, you could do that. Dead or Alive was okay. I don't think they ever, that series is dead, probably right. It's or like, alive. I don't, I don't think it's alive anymore. No, I don't think so either. Oh, because they spun off into the very successful beach volleyball game. I mean, that was <laughs> pretty <laughs> good. <laughs> so, yeah. And like I was saying then, um, so I get a little leery whenever they adjust these fighting games. Because, like, if it's something I really like, I don't want them to fuck it up. You know what one of the best fighting games is ever? What's that? Nidhogg. Never played it. That's like the 2D one, right? Yep. Yeah, okay. And, and it's just a single hit kill. And hmm. you have to run to the other side of the screen. Hmm. And jump off a cliff and get eaten by a worm monster. That's the game. Yeah, but but the two of you like, you're like literally like you has to go over there and you have to go over there, but you have to go through each other to do that. Hmm. Oh, it's so much fun and it's Never just heard, swords. Yeah, I've heard of it, but I haven't oh, played it. Oh my god, it's so competitive. That's awesome. This is just one on one. Yeah, no, really, I really not, really I'm good. Done that. I'll look into it. What's it on? Uh, PlayStation Xbox. Oh, yeah. It might not be on Xbox. But it's on PlayStation. Okay, definitely. I'm checking. I'm looking at that. The problem is I don't have anybody to play these games with. You know, like yeah. so, like when I like fighting games, like we would get a bunch of us together and do these tournaments, and then you know it's like, well, of course you're going to win, Derek. You own the game. I'm like, yeah, I guess you're right. So then I would take it online, but the problem with the online is oh. you get a bad connection. You're you're reacting to something like I just. 
if you're not in the same room, I don't really, online fighting. Online mm, fighting, you're, I think, I feel you're like. at the mercy of the servers, it feels. Four out of five times online fighting, my experience is you're going to play against someone that's played it for a thousand hours more than you have. <laughs> Even though you think you're good, you're going to play someone that's significantly better four out of five times. You know, I'm glad you brought that up. When you're talking about playing games online, mm -hmm. I could not agree with you more. Like it doesn't. I feel like we've lost the the age of the casual gamer. 